Welcome back everyone, it's FNUSA57 here. Today I am back on the Xbox One on Division 2, and I will be showing you how to get the Undressed to Kill achievement. So the description for this is destroy every piece of a tank's armor, then eliminate the tank. And uh, that was throwing me for a loop for a second, but you can kind of tell by the icon in the picture of this achievement what you actually have to do. So initially I thought this was a tank as in a vehicle, but it is a tank as in a classification of enemy. I am going to show you two different ways to actually unlock this achievement. The first one is a little bit trickier than the second because it does require you to progress further in the game. So there's two ways, like I mentioned, of actually unlocking this. You can do it in the open world, but you have to remove every piece of a tank class enemy's armor then kill them. That's helmet, left, right, legs, left, right, shoulder pads, and chest plate. And I would recommend removing them in the order of shoulder pads, legs, helmet, chest plate. Uh, some of the enemies also have armor on their back, and you may have to strip that off as well. That can be a little bit tricky. Now, the second way that you can do that which is the way that I will show initially, is to make sure that you advance your game by completing all three of the strongholds to at least world tier one, and then choose the demolitionist. Now, I would recommend that you level up the demolitionist a little bit so that you have some points that you can spare and at the very least max out your signature weapon. Now, at any time, you can go ahead and respec your character and change those points, so do keep that in mind. You don't have to continue running this setup. So this will increase your signature weapon damage to 145%, matching World Tier 5. Now, for the moment, when you actually switch to your signature weapon and you use it, it will go ahead and do blast damage to every piece of the tank's armor and then it should kill him in one hit now i don't know if they will change that at some point but uh, if they do change it i'm going to show you the other way to do this so obviously you can go and find a tank in the open world but you are guaranteed to fight a tank at the end of the american history museum so i recommend doing this mission and i would recommend doing it with another player or if you choose to go for this achievement in the open world I would recommend another player be in your team just to make it a little bit easier a few things to bear in mind this achievement has been reported by many people to be very buggy I'm not sure if it is the achievement bugging or if it is people missing the backpack or missing one of the shoulder plates on the boss or the fact that it has to be a tank class enemy. Now, I've tested this and named tanks like bounty bosses, uh, such as Breaker, do not count. I tried three times, removed every single piece of armor, and we could not unlock the achievement. So it appears that a named tank class enemy does not count. The easiest ones to do this with are the ones with a heavy machine gun, not the minigun which is what you should get at the end of the American History Museum. If you've already completed this mission, which you should have if you've reached World Tier 1 or higher, then what you're going to want to do is go into the mission options, select Replay, but before doing so, I would recommend putting the difficulty down on Story just for the purposes of the achievement. If you wish to have the other loot as well, that is entirely up to you. You can play on whatever difficulty you would like but it is far better to go ahead and play on the easiest difficulty for purposes of the achievement. Now, one thing you should note if you are going to try and do it with the specialist weapon, you will have to press and hold Y to equip the specialist weapon, and you generate ammunition for the specialist weapon by getting kills with explosives. So what you're going to do is you're going to start the mission, Make sure that you have at least one round for your specialist weapon if you are going to use this trick with the demolitionist or attempt it, and then make sure that your other weapons are good to go. Now, for taking off the armor for a tank, I recommend using a LMG 
or using your sidearm. Uh, something that is going to be highly accurate so you only hit the piece of armor that you want to hit. Now I'm going to fast forward real quick and I'll show you where the tank is at the end of the mission and us unlocking the achievement. I will have the assistance of my friend Furious Mike, so shout out to him for helping me with this achievement. See you all in a moment. Alright, so there's a tank that comes in once you get to this point with the whole like Vietnam scene, chopper, minigun. What you want to do is kill off the ads that spawn with him. And then you'll notice it's pretty easy to tell. I'll uh, switch to my LMG so that you can see. But he's got heavy armor. He's got a heavy armor helmet, gauntlets, two leg um, slash like thigh pads, big old chest plate, and he shoots grenades at you. So you have two options with this guy. If you want, you can remove every piece of his armor by shooting it. That takes a little bit of time, but uh, it is effective and you will unlock the achievement by doing so. Try to dodge his grenades. If you dodge all of his grenades, he'll be reloading. And when he goes to reload, you can pull out your specialist weapon, fire, and depending on how many upgrades you have in your specialist weapon and your explosives, it might take more than one hit, but your specialist weapon should be able to remove pretty much all of his armor within the maximum amount of ammo that it has. And then your achievement will unlock. And that's technically the easiest way to do it if you have the demolitionist. Now the problem is, like I said, you have to advance to world tier 1, level up a couple times, get the points to max out your uh, signature weapon damage, and even with it maxed out, it still can take up to like 6 grenades to kill him and that's almost direct hits but that's the easiest way to ensure that you have destroyed every single piece of the tank's armor before killing him because the grenade does damage to all pieces at the same time now one other very important thing to keep in mind if you are going for this achievement you must be the person to deal the final damage that actually kills the tank so if you're playing with another person or you're using incendiary ammo or bleed effect or any other environmental damage or anything like that, if environmental damage that is not caused by you or damage from another player is the last damage that actually kills the target, you will not unlock the achievement. Only the person that has the final damage number done will unlock the achievement, which is kind of retarded. But you can get it either using the specialist weapon uh, for the demolitionist, the 40 millimeter multi-shot grenade launcher, or you can get it by shooting off every piece of his armor and then killing him. Using the demolitionist weapon is easier, but uh, like I said, you have to progress farther in the game. And then you can simply just replay the mission and let your friend do the exact same thing so that everybody gets the achievement. Now, hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure that you leave a comment and I will do my best to answer your questions for you. If the video did help, please smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe for more content as that greatly helps out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. So until next time, stay frosty.